Well, welcome, folks. It is our brand new unit, Chemistry Unit 5, Stoichiometry. Hey, Mr. Sams, can you say Stoichiometry? Not this early in the morning. I mean, early in the morning. Six, it's only 6.30. 6 40. 6.30 when we got here. Yeah, well. So, it's still dark outside. Not really. It's just a little light. Ugh. You know. Come on. Stoic can you say Stoichiometry? No. Okay. Stoic everybody say Stoichiometry. Stoichiometry. I want to hear you. Stoichiometry? Stoichiometry. He said it. I knew I could get him to say it. I'll get more into it once I get closer to the bottom of that cup of coffee. You need that coffee. Hey, yeah. I I had yogurt this morning. I have muffin too. There you go. Mm. Chocolate muffins. There you go. Actually, I did stop and get something to eat. I haven't eaten yet. Okay, hey, podcast 5.1. Cinco y uno, right? In Spanish, I think, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk about the introduction to stoichiometry. Sometimes we abbreviate stoichiometry as uh, stoic. Think of that, stoic, stoichiometry, kind of works for me, mm. yeah. Talk about multiple uh, calculations and mass mass calculations. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. Hey, what, what is stoichiometry? Um, some tells me it's predicting the quantities in a chemical reaction. Hey, where did you get that from? I don't know. <laughs> Years of experience. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you mean by predicting quantities in a chemical reaction? Um, predicting quantities, well, um, that can show up in a number of ways, either the number of moles of something, mm -hmm. or the number of grams of something, or liters of a gas, or milliliters of a solution, things like that. So if you have a reaction that says A plus B plus C, or, yeah. something, or makes C, or whatever, uh, which would be what type of reaction, by the way? Uh, that would be a synthesis or combination yeah, reaction. you're good. You're yeah. really good. Hey, and let's say that you knew that you had five uh, grams of A. Mm -hmm. What would stoichiometry be able to help you figure out? Well, it could tell us a couple things. It could tell us how many grams of B would react with that. Mm. It could also tell us how many grams of C we could produce. How much B or? Yeah. How much C. How much C. Yeah, and that could be in grams, or like I said earlier, we could do moles, or if it's a gas, liters, or. Yeah, yeah that works for me. Things. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay. Hey, I think we should do a little video clip that helps us understand this whole concept of predicting products. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Well, here I am with, well, my bicycle. This is actually my racing that's a, bicycle. That's a bike? It's a bike. Holy cow. Well, it's kind of a bike. It's kind of got some problems. I think it's not complete. I don't think I could write that in a race, Mr. Sam. No, I, well, you could. You'd probably come in last. Yeah, because I, I think I'd have an issue. Ouch. Ouch. That, that, there's no there's no. Seat. Yeah, you might want that. That, that could the be a little seat. uncomfortable for yeah. after, you know, well, 100 miles or so. I'm missing something else. Well, I'm you need wheels, wheels to make it go. Yeah, there, there's no wheels. Hmm. Hey, look what I found. Hey, look, a seat. A seat. What are the odds? Oh, I don't know. It's amazing. We found the seat. That doesn't look much like a seat either. I know. It's kind of a funny looking seat. It's designed for speed. So, um, hey, let's talk about uh, mole to mole ratio. No, it looks like a salmon steak. <laughs> well, it's a seat. It does. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is a seat. Um, yeah, it's a kind of a racing seat. Um, we want to talk about mole to mole ratios. You see, to build a complete bike, we need to have a recipe to build the complete bike. Well, to build the bike, well, you need the frame. Those are the parts, too, but they're already connected. And I think it's important that we have one seat. It wouldn't be good to have two seats. It would be a waste of, of weight. So I put the seat into the staff right here. And of course, I tighten it all up so that it doesn't slip. And, and that would be a problem, right? Okay. So seat's all tight, right? What else do I need, Mr. Sams? I'm missing something. Yeah, you're you're kind of missing the wheel part. Oh, wheels! Okay, well, I've got one wheel. Okay, good. So we're good. So let me put the wheel on. Okay. Okay, so we're going to be good. All right, i got to put the wheel on. All right. Okay. Now, now, are you good at riding wheelies? Huh? Are you good at r riding wheelies? I'm good at everything, Mr. Sams. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'd, I'd like to see you ride a wheelie around this room on your one-wheeled bike. My one-wheeled one bike? Yeah. You're putting one wheel. More than one wheel? Well, you know, it is called a bicycle. Why is it called a bicycle? Because there are two wheels. Uh, I'm sorry, Paul Bergen is in the See, this is the new bike. <laughs> a different kind of a system for its wheels. Ah! It also would be good. This is actually good practice. This is my new bike, and uh, since it's kind of new, I've never had a flat with this one. <laughs> it was hard to get it off this morning. <laughs> and now it's hard to get back on. All right, Mr. Bergman, his old bike, could have done this in like five seconds. Ha! There we go, because it's a back entry. Which makes it for faster. Ha! There we go. So I've got my bike. I'm ready to go. Tighten All right. Tighten the wheel. Okay, got the seat. 
All right, ride that wheelie. All right, all right, okay. I got a problem. You do. I think I need two. 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 Bye. Oh, bye. So bye, bye, sickle. Two. Oh, what? Hey! What are hey, you look, doing? another wheel. Another wheel. What are the odds? I don't know. So I can hook this up. I think we might be able to make one. So what's the recipe? make a bicycle, Mr. Sanders. Uh, looks like you need a frame. Frame, good. One seat. One seat. And two wheels. Yeah, it's not going to work without having both wheels. Okay. Unless you're really good at riding a wheelie. Unless you're really good at riding a wheelie. And for a long distance trip on, that would be a long day. Um, and a seat would be kind of important because if you don't have a seat... And that's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a yeah. lot. Yeah. Mm. So, the recipe is... One frame, plus one seat, plus two wheels, makes a bike. One bicycle. Well, Mr. Sams, yeah. I was having a hard time building my bike there. Yeah, how long did it take you to get that back wheel on? Um, I don't know. No, maybe longer than I should have taken. But yeah, hey, what's the recipe? Uh, one frame. One frame. We'll call it an F. Okay. Kind of like for a chemical symbol. All right. Yeah. One seat. Plus one S. And then two wheels. Plus two W makes, makes one bike. One BK. Hey, like BK the bike. That works for All right. You? So there's our rela our 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 relation. Uh, More our, ratios. Uh, ratios. Yeah, we have ratios. Yeah. So you can actually write these as ratios. What we're trying to get to, guys, is we're trying to introduce a new concept. Is that you know we've learned about mole conversions, and you've learned that one mole is equal to 22. 0.4 liters. Mm -hmm. You've also learned that one mole, I'm writing as a fraction, Mike, I can, anyways, uh -huh. is equal to what else? 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Yeah, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Mm -hmm. And one mole is equal to? Uh, the molar mass in grams. So many grams of the chemical. Right. But those are our three fractions, right? But uh -huh. what we're going to introduce today is one or more fraction. Yeah. It is the mole to mole fraction. Yeah, and then, guys, this one's really easy because it all comes from the balanced chemical equation. However, in order to do it, you have to have a balanced, a balanced chemical, chemical equation. equation. So, guys, this is what we have. We have a balanced chemical equation mm -hmm. here, a balanced bicycle equation. Right. And so we can say uh, two moles of wheels uh -huh. is equal to one, one mole, of bike. mole of bike. Or we could say... Um, one mole of seat is equal to one, one mole of frame. Of frame. Now and these notice, can be flipped around, if you, you know. Yeah, we can flip them upside down, and you can do a ratio from any substance to any other substance in a balanced equation. So it wheels does, to bikes. Yeah. Seats to wheels. Mm -hmm. Wheels to seats. Yeah. Seats to frames. Frames to seats. Frames to bikes, bikes to frames, yeah, whatever it is. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It does not have to be products to reactants or reactants to products. It can be two reactants. It can be two products. That's right. So anything. let's do this. Now, we've done a sort of our, our analogy with the yeah. bike, but let's do it with, like, real chemicals. Okay. Okay, so let's do that. 